Hi everyone, my name is Glenn and I'd like to welcome you back to another video of my living room, approximately one year on from the last one. Uh, I thought it'd be nice just to give you an update of how things are doing, what I've changed, because I've changed a lot of plants, uh, my successes, my failures, uh, and just the progress of how the plants are doing really. So I hope you enjoy. Uh, give us some feedback in the comments and um, like and subscribe. Uh, if you want to follow us on Instagram, my uh, account is Glenn's Indoor Garden under hyphen under each word there. I'll put a link in the bottom. Uh, so let's have a look around my living room, see what you think. So I'll start down here. Um, so down here, still have my Aspidistra, doing very well. Cast iron plant again, can't go wrong with that. Up here, a newer addition. This is a Boston Fern relation. This one's called Emerald Queen. Uh, really, really nice green fern. Can't go wrong with a Boston Fern. Uh, around this side here, have my variegated Monstera doing very well. Uh, in my previous videos, you'll have seen us taking cuttings of this. Uh, and this is the result now of cutting up the mother plant. Uh, propagating it and popping them all back up into one pot so I'm really happy I've not seen one in person as nice as this so I'm really really happy with this plant um, I've had people messaging asking if I'm going to be cutting it up anymore and can I have cuttings uh, no no I'm letting this grow this is my baby so um, obviously once I reach the top of the pool I'll, I'll think about propagating but no I'm really happy with this nice and healthy really good strong variegation so really really happy with that uh, we'll swing around here I'll just turn this humidifier off so you can see what's happening so here I have a bookcase I've just got a nice English ivy this one's just a silver variegated one can't think of the name um, but I don't know why more people don't have ivy, it's such an easy, easy plant. Uh, this here has a, a splenium. Uh, I'm not sure the variety, let's have a, let's have a look. Oh, no label. Uh, I'll find out the name, I'm not sure, but it's a nice bird's nest fern. Um, it's down here. Philodendron Brazil. Underneath that, me lemon lime miranda. Uh, oh, hiding down the back there, me little uh, jewel orchid. Uh, on the bottom, me stromanthi. And that there is a dracaena. Um, you can see these plants, they're just grown under, under these lamps. You might have seen them in the last videos. They're just daylight bulbs. It's nothing special. I think they cost two quid. It will goes for a daylight bulb. And I don't know why people go and spend all these money on grow lights when I've got these and they do. Me plants do absolutely fine with them. It's just during the winter months, really, just to give them some extra light because I've got the big window and that's where most of my plants are. But at the back of the room here, it's just not bright enough. So put these lights on and they're on timers so they're not on all day and I don't I don't worry about them I just put them on the timer come on for a few hours every day and it just keeps the plants ticking over until till summer comes so uh here we have me dicorosandra the blue ginger um I don't know if it's got any flowers on oh wait there we go I think it's just just finished there lovely blue flowers and this is honestly this is flowered for 12 months it's been absolutely brilliant. Uh, moving on, uh, Philodendron Marble Queen trailing there on my little coffee table. A uh, little ficus, I want to say Bella, not 100%. Uh, over here, my Calathea, the rattlesnake. Um, ugly name. I, I, so I'll tell you this now, in my last video, I had a lot of Calathea. They're, they're gone. I've, I've swapped them out for, for Aglinema. I just, I, I cannot rave about these plants enough. They're so easy compared to Calathea. 
in the uh, just no problem no crispy edges no problems with red spider mate which i had massive issues with it i was constantly spraying them um to be fair though this calathea in me stromanthi i've never had any issues with so that's why i've kept this so I, if you want to pick a calathea grow i definitely pick this one which is insignis maybe i'm not it's the common name's rattlesnake so if you google that i'm sure you'll find it but it's absolutely beautiful this the stripes, look at them patterns there. And then the back of the leaf. Absolutely lush. Uh, up here, uh, we've got the trailing watermelon. And on this, which is really, I've never noticed this before on anyone's, but there's a little, there's a seed pod. So you've got all these little clusters of flowers. And then one of them's got a seed pod, so. Uh, tra uh, Discidia. Is a common name, I think it's Ovata. This one, but lovely leaf, really good trail. Um, and on that side to match up, we've got me Boston Fern to zoom out there, show you. So that's above the telly. Swing around here, we've got me little fishes. So I'm not going to the plants in there, some Java ferns and stuff, but on the top of the log, there we have some little ferns. And rooting on the log there, I don't know if you can see, that is a Monstera, how do you, is it Dubai, Dubia, something like that? So that's, that's grown on there, it's rooted on there. Next to the fish, we have Kentia palm. I had that in my last video, I, I can't again, absolutely fan, one of my favourite plants. Elegant, easy to grow, not a bother. Uh, my bird's nest fern, it's getting a real big boy now, these leaves are, I can't, if that's my arm, it's, it's, a, uh, it's a decent size now that. Uh, some more aglinemas down there, I've got a few different varieties now and I, I can't remember the names of them all. Um, my orange spider plant. Mechlorophytum orchidastrum. Another aglinema there. This one is stripes, I believe. That one there. Uh, some more there. Just so these few here, few different varieties are sitting on top of the pot of me, me big ficus. So that's me, me big ficus. Uh, I'm still king. That one there. That's probably my oldest plant I've got. So that's that's in a really, really big pot now. Uh, back down here, newest additions. Some Aglinema Silver Blue purchased today from Cowles Garden Centre in Newcastle. Uh, Philodendron Bergen. Oh, this is a good one. So this is, this is Aglinema Key Lime. Absolutely stunning plant. Lush leaves, easy growing. Not about, and do you want the best thing about Aglinema? They don't mind being kept on the dry side. So the number of calais that I've had where I've let them dry out, because my problem is, is I let things dry out maybe a bit too much. Aglinema don't mind, they, they might lose a leaf goes a bit yellow the oldest leaf but other than that they don't mind it in fact they're probably better off being kept a bit dry um stops the root rot so if you're finding you're struggling with calathea try aglinema because they're just much much easier plants um and the leaf the variegation the different colors and shapes of the leaves i don't know why more people don't keep them uh moving on we've got my golden xanadu there philodendron I think they've changed the name of this now. I don't think it's a philodendron anymore, but uh, I've got that there. My pride and joy, this one here. This is my variegated ponytail palm. This one, I don't know if you can see the, see the trunk there, but that's my variegated ponytail palm. Uh, Aglinema peacock there. Uh, oh, me, um, move that out of the way. 
So that is my, sorry, Philodendron Florida Ghost. Again, that's a good plant. I've not seen many larger specimens. I've seen a lot of cuttings in that, but not, not many big plants. So I'm really happy with that. Um, oh, the Xanthosoma. It hasn't grown much. I mean, I did get it in the middle of winter, so that's fine. And it's not growing much, but it hasn't died back because I know a lot of these things can go dormant. So he's doing really well. Uh, me Hamanamella, Maggie. Again, one of my babies, absolutely massive plant. I don't know, again, I don't know why more people don't grow it. Absolutely brilliant. Not a bother. Lovely heart shape, dark green leaves, red stems. Easy plant. Uh, right, zooming out a bit. So we've got, uh, in the top corner there, we've got me staghorn fern mounted on a bit of wood. Um, that's going really well. Got a Sansevera moonshine, Philodendron neon, neon pophos, Philodendron, did I just call that a Philodendron? It's not, I do apologise. It is an ep epiprimnum, is it? Skindapsis. It's neon, whatever it is. Got Philodendron Mikens. I'm having a total brain block the day. I can't remember any names. Philodendron Megans. Uh, sorry, the light's pretty low in here, so the camera's struggling to zoom in, but they're the new leaves. A nice velvety chocolate colour, and then they're darkened down with these lovely dark green velvety leaves. Uh, I've got a Sissus there. And down here, growing up my pool. We've got my Thai constellation. Growing back, I bought this, it's probably a year old and I bought it as a little like plug plant. It was two leaves maybe and it's grown this much in a year. Um, I'm really lucky because I mean, this is a big south facing window. Um, so me plants do get a lot of light in the summer. So they do grow pretty well in the summer. I'll slow down obviously in the winter. Uh, there we have a, I want to say, is it Ripsalis Paradoxa Minor? So it's not the plain Paradoxa because Paradoxa's got bigger, thicker stems. This one's Paradoxa Minor, so it's a bit finer. But this is really nice as well. Um, but that's grown really well. Um, and here we have another Kentia palm. And just a Tradescantia there, trail in there. Uh, so that is my living room at the minute. So like I say, there's been a lot of things go, and to be fair, I'd, I'd have to watch the other video to see what I had. But I've definitely gotten rid of a lot of Calathea and getting a lot more Aglinema. Fish tank's new. Um... And what I've realised in as well is, as plants are getting bigger, I'm getting rid of smaller plants and just keeping the larger ones, which I, I think I prefer because I see that's a lot of little plants there. Um, I'm I'm tending to prefer more specimen plants, bigger ones rather than lots of little plants. It's for time as well, looking after them. Bigger plants take less less looking after. I find so. Um, so yep, new fish tank. Obviously move things around a bit. Um, but yeah, that is my living room. Um, thanks for spending the time watching my video. Uh, and hopefully I'll have another one soon. If there's anything you would like to see in particular, give us a shout and I'll see what I can do. If there's any care or any plants you want to you wanna hear or see, uh, let us know. Uh, thank you very much. And see you later.